Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 169 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we're talking about money. We're going to spend the next three days talking about, well, the, actually the next week talking about money topics. And then next weekend, we're going to head into the last seven days of the month, which is when we go through our, the goal process we came up with for this year's challenge in January. We went through like 15 or 20 different frameworks, different ways of looking at setting, achieving, dealing with and handling goals. And we we merged together and picked one and came up with a seven step process that we're going through the end of each month, day by day by day, step by step, and applying it to our most important. I, I just decided this month, why am I not picking my most important goal for running through the process step by step by step. So I'm picking my most important goal. I encourage you to do the same. You can pick any goal. You can pick a small goal to run the process through and, and learn on and practice every month, or you can pick a big one. I'm like, I was just picking kind of a random whatever one popped into my head. And this month I decided, well, financial, why wouldn't I do the process step by step, day by day, as an example for my personal most important goal. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, our topic today is money, of course. Money is energy and money is an exchange of value. That's our topic today. Now, I our action item is to ask yourself, how do you currently feel and think about money? Is it positive, is it negative, is it neutral? Because money being energy, just like everything else in the world, I think uh, scientists and uh, great, minds have come to decide and, and define everything in our universe, including us, is made up of energy, right? I'm not going to get into the, the science of it or the protons and neutrons and all of the energy because we don't really understand energy. We know that energy can't be created or destroyed. We know that it just changes form. But if we keep in mind that money is energy, that means that we can attract money if we have positive thoughts and feelings about it but we can also repel money if we have negative thoughts and feelings about it. And if I think back over my lifetime, there have been times when I had really positive thoughts about money and money came easily and was easily attracted into my life. And I had some negative thoughts about money and I was actually doing things and causing more financial problems for myself and repelling money. And so I personally truly believe that money is energy and that it has a it can have a charge, but like anything else in the universe, we get to decide whether we look at things positively, negatively, or neutrally. If you look at money neutrally, it'll just flow in and out of your life as your basic needs and requirements. If you look at it positively, you'll attract it and you'll have an abundance of it and plenty in your life. If you look at it negatively, you are gonna have financial challenges. I challenge you today to think back over your past and see if you can and see this pattern playing out in your own life. Money is an exchange of value, right? When I don't feel like I have enough money coming in, I have to ask myself, am I putting enough value out into the world so that all of my needs and desires are met via the money that flows back into my life? And again, if I'm being reflective and I'm thinking back, the times when I've struggled or haven't felt like I had enough, it's because I wasn't providing enough value, putting enough out into the world. Being, being myself is the, the most important thing I discovered throughout that, that little self-discovery exercise. So today, we're just going to think about money. How do I feel? How do I think about money? And this is different than our thoughts and beliefs. Early in the month, we, we, we wrote down all of our thoughts and all of our beliefs about money. And usually, we could just go back and check that list because probably so far we haven't changed that much with respect to our thoughts and feelings and beliefs and core values about money. So if you go back and check that list and there's a lot of negative things on that, Guess what? You probably have negative feelings about money currently, and that's something we want to work on and change. How do we go about changing that? The way we change anything else, we, we make a decision, we take action by doing affirmations or reading or studying or learning more about the topic, and then we continue to take action to move us toward what it is that we want. Any questions about this, hit me up. I think this is an absolutely positively fascinating topic. I love it. I stick my nose into it a lot and I read about it and study and I learn and I, I model what other people are doing that I admire that are having the results I want and those are some of the ways I keep my mind in a positive slant about money instead of a negative one. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow with another interesting topic about 
financial goals because that's what we're focusing on this month. Have a great day.